previously on Homebrew Detritus. Wow. Yeah. That was amazingly a Such good a, volume level. Yeah, nice, I nice. used my radio voice for that one. Nice do that a lot. Do that a lot. I have worked with you at the radio station. That was not your radio voice. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wish this game was full of silent protagonists. Mm. But you all have, to, <laughs> you all have to talk to make the game work. Well, I mean, well, fortunately, I, we don't have to sing. I can pantomime if you like. But we can if we want to. We really shouldn't. Um, I'm sorry, this is a talking show, so Eat you're going to hear another word. Eat a dick! I mean it. So... That's uh, that is the end of that combat. Up ahead, you still see the strange glowing lights, and you narrowly avoided the pit trap from the bottom. And we will pick this up next week. Bizarre. All right. Oh man, next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, was was Mork Borg his radio voice? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well done, Kevin. I, w- I wonder if we should just have uh, an NPR setting for Kevin, and, and the rest of us just talk normal. <laughs> I would we just have it. Kevin do NPR. Yeah, the, the yeah, thing about, our glass for like three hours before every show. Uh, unfortunately for us, Kevin's only ever heard car talk, so it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I, I like this guy. Awesome. I love car talk. I wish that guy hadn't died. They gotta kept. I going. know. Yeah. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that guy. It was his brother. Yeah, well, you know. Don't die like my brother. Don't die like my brother. <laughs> Did they talk about cars or was it just... Uh... Yeah, I mean, some. They, yeah, they talked about cars. They took calls and people described what was wrong with... What was going on with their car, and then they would cra- uh, they would bag on them while they told them how it, how it needs to be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Oh. They would ask them things like, how, do, how what, is, what sound is it making? Like... It goes like clack, 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 click, click, click. And they would be like, <laughs> say it one more time. We think we know what it is. And they would just like that stuff. I mean, yeah. it was just... it sounds like you got an angry crab in your transmission. But yeah. for real, what you need to do. Is... So like actual mechanics given normal yeah, these, non-mechanics these like, people. They had, like, in, so. they had engineering degrees, auto engineering yeah. degrees. They, they yeah, just they sounded were, like yokels. They were smart guys and owned like a, I don't know, like a chain of auto shops and stuff and then they just but they were i don't know i i like i love listening to them mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> i think them and ira glass that's the only the two things i watch what would it listen take to, to regularly what would it take to put this show on npr like what does that take uh production that's, value that's right. fucking swearing you know what i'm gonna take offense to that again terrence <laughs> eat a dick <laughs> no i, I mean think, um <laughs> i mean definitely some monotone lessons for kevin mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What I mean by production value is like you, it needs to be tighter. It needs to have like purpose. Like it, it needs to be focused and we, more narrative. And we need to have a less, director. Yeah, we, you'd have to have someone. We would have to have crew behind the scenes in charge. Probably some scripting. Mm. You know, it wouldn't. That be doesn't this. sound like scripting. Yeah. Well, it so, just sounds like you being mean to me. It's fine. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I was being mean to you. Don't make any mistakes. <laughs> but I'm the god in this game, and you will die shortly. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> could have done that from the beginning. I don't know why you have. Because I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to kill you all for trying to kill me all of season one and didn't succeed. Well, it's hard to kill a guy who lies about his dice rolls and healing checks. That's just, it's impossible when we can't see each other's dice rolls. <laughs> I've never, I, I mean, I've never seen anybody max their healing every single time. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's truly a gift. You have a gift of words. And usually, Kevin, you end up killing yourself before we can even, as Dungeon <laughs> yeah, Masters, yeah. attempt it. And so. you have not done that. That's true. Yeah. He has not done that. It's Tom. I think one of my favorite kevin moments was when ryan was running a game and he did our artwork for the logo and used to game with us and he did the artwork on the upcoming cartoons and stuff but he described this bridge this long bridge and there were these skeleton not skeleton statue things that were twirling 
blades around and it covered the whole bridge and he went on a it was a solid three or four minutes of just description of how impossible it would be for us to cross this bridge kevin <laughs> it's your turn i run across the bridge <laughs> and you died kevin thought it was a bluff i mean it could have been could have been was not yeah i giggled this giggled i wonder if it was before Kevin said I run across the bridge. <laughs> and then as soon as Kevin made that choice, Ryan's like, not Tear a bluff anymore. the notes up. Yeah. Nope, that's real. <laughs> Things are real. <laughs> yeah, Ryan would probably do that. I would think, oh, I don't know if he that's, would. That's besmirching a DM's character right there. No, no, that's just improv. No, no that's, that's, that's our job, right? You it's, make it fun for everyone. At least everyone else, other than one person. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it's tabletop, not Second City, okay? <laughs> so speaking of character deaths, uh, two people have had the opportunity in this campaign to make extra characters. So yeah. we know what they would play if they died because they're playing that character now. Kevin, if Razbad does die, <laughs> when Razbad dies, what what's, do, you have a, do you have a backup character idea? Make it horrible. Oh, make it horrible. Um... I ran a test run to see if I would enjoy playing an alchemist, uh-huh. and off of the one shot, I would definitely play a uh, rat folk alchemist. G- gunslinger, gunslinger alchemist. Toby. No, not in the setting. Not happening. Yeah. What about new? Yeah, gunslinger's already off limits. So. Also, ace alchemist. Monk. Go for a monk. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I haven't played one yet. That's the whole reason. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it yet. Seems fun. Yeah. I could walk on air and shit. How can you play a monk weapon. for the last one shot? You dug it? Yeah. I played it mainly because that's what I thought I would do for my backup here. I thought of it before Noob said his. I'm just saying. <laughs> we wrote it no, down. You didn't, but that's fine. It's in an envelope. I did. <laughs> I know, like I did. Like well, you all have. Act- Never mind. I'm not going to say anything else. Hey, I'm not going to hey, say hey, anything hey, else about it. it it's whoever but. dies first gets the monk. That's all. Hey, that's right. that's <laughs> how I thought about it. It's a race to the graveyard for you. Two. <laughs> <laughs> that's fully possible in this uh, dungeon we're in. Mm-hmm. Just run ahead of the party. You'll live forever. <laughs> As a monk. Yep. <laughs> Until you don't. What about you, Terrence? Uh, I would play um, an elven wizard with a hideously scarred face. Only I would be effective at casting spells and do it quickly during my round. I would. Um, <laughs> I like it. I, I've never tried that before, but it sounds like something that would be fun. Uh, I don't know. I actually, I already told you what I would, what I'll be playing if I die. But did you? Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> And he's planning on dying, so we don't want to spoil. Yeah, what? Anything. No. Yep. no. Oh. <laughs> Y'all talked about that already, huh? Hey, hey, you're stuck in the rogue position. We need a trap finder. Nah, well, you know, alchemist, I think that's something you can learn to do. Um, It might be cool to die where we're at now, then, because you can possibly create, like, a fake creature. Yeah, you can Ooh. make, like, whatever. A satyr? You can like be the way a- new thinks that that you just because if you die in this world you can make whatever <laughs> well, it's whatever kind of in between want. it's like in between a lot of places right we're not the only one been brought here there's a lot of good backstory Jedi. choices a, a grasshopper <laughs> like centaur it. we could homebrew a pixie Jedi I like that <laughs> or a grasshopper <laughs> centaur here yeah. I mean the uh, pixie Jedi that's basically just a, a Yoda with no wings Yoda with wings I was thinking more Magus Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Probably Magus of Jedi, right? You got the spells I want to the be, sword. Yeah, they got the spells they can put into their sword. I want to be a Gribbly Ninja. Oh, that's possible in any realm. <laughs> I'll let that fly any day of the week. Ninjas are fun. <laughs> they look super complicated, but they look fun. It's just a, it's a shitty rogue. That's what <laughs> well, I, don't know. I mean, some of those the ninja tricks. I was looking at that when I was making the rogue for something we did that we didn't do or something. Yeah, it's like a cavalier. It's like a a not as good rogue with a few magical powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's some really nifty kind of little ninja 
only tricks that are kind of kind of cool. Ninja vanish, dope. So what? Uh, my que- I guess my question is, as as the person that has died the most, is um, it's a word. What um, what are you planning no, for next? Franks died way more than you. No, he was asking as the oh, person oh, who sorry. has died the most. What am I planning to play next? I'll figure it out when I die. <laughs> He's out of mm-hmm. he's out of ideas. <laughs> I, I, actually, I, I have been thinking about playing something that's just magicy, just magic like sorcerer or um, kind of just a blaster kind of thing. Yeah, just a just a evocation blaster or a cleric. Nah, we don't need any of that. We don't we don't want a real cleric here. We've already we've gotten this far without one. Yeah, we got like three half clerics. We're perfectly fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't be a heel cleric. I'll suck it. Keep oh, people well, then alive. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you can be you can be a garbage cleric any old day. Yeah. No, I've played clerics, clerics are fun. before. There's some I'm, definitely I'm, fun things to do with clerics. I get real bored especially, with them. Especially an evil yeah. cleric. It's the best. I had a really good time with the first one. I First and only one I played. I had a good time with it. Or, you were an evil cleric, weren't you? No. Kind of. No. It was mm. neutral-ish. <laughs> <laughs> I never cast fleshworm infestation. I gave people nightmares that did harm to my friends. It was perfectly. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised good. you said that spell's name on the first try. <laughs> What's fleshworm that? Fleshworm infestation. It's yeah, a mouthful. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's mouthful. a tongue twister. Or I'll play a monk. We'll all oh play God. monk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I uh, seriously, I was thinking bard. <laughs> I've, never, I've never played a bard. People ever. shit on bard. One of my favorite all-time characters I got to play was a bard. And I played a bard in Ravenloft, which is not a place you want to play a bard, apparently, because <laughs> it's full of things that will murder you very fast. But I had a blast. Uh, Gully Hairborn was his name. Hairbone was his name. Because I was reading Dragonlance at the time, and I really liked <laughs> the name Gully. Gully, yeah. I was working at the radio station. I even gave Gully his own commercials where he was like a superhero. It made no sense to people listening to my show. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it was, uh, Gully, ha- Gully has to fuck your mom to save Christmas was a movie trailer that I did. <laughs> uh, okay. It didn't make any sense, but I had a blast making them. Um, Gully has to fuck your mom for but he had one spell in particular. It was third party, but we let it slide because my character was so terrible. But again, I had a blast playing him. It was called Bone Fiddle. I think this was still, we were 3.5. We were still D&D 3.5 then. Yeah, this is 3.5. And it was like the, what was that? The spell tome, the third party, whatever. I can't remember. Thousand one spells, I believe. Yeah, something like that. But Bone Fiddle, it would bring up the fiddle, but it would use the target's bones to make the sound. Their rib cage, in yeah. So it would like, <laughs> across that, and it would do it would do damage and play an eerie song that also did sonic damage. I fucking love that spell. <laughs> it's great. The so bards are dope, especially if you're at a big party and you know you just want to buff everybody and sit we back can, and eat fucking honey buns. Deal with, we can take a loss of a useless character. Yeah. Some people. No, like I, that. So. I mean. It, <laughs> Uh, I, I will say this. I, I I thought everybody told me I've never played a bard, but everybody have, I've heard over the years like you know, oh don't play a bard, it's not whatever. I, I saw a post on Reddit, like on the Pathfinder Reddit or whatever. The um, somebody was talking about why are bards such trash? Oh my god, it was like ridiculous. How many people were just like ah, they're the best fucking character. It was just there's there's a ton of people that love bards. It's like there's a, a, there's a ton of people who like Pathfinder enough to go to the Pathfinder Reddit page and comment yeah. with people about why bards are awesome that's not a lot of people it seems like a lot of people it seems like a lot of people it's a lot of people inside that small super whatever community but no most most at least coming up most most i heard was bards suck and i was like well, i'm gonna play a sucky character bubble. you encouraged me to play a bard when i first started playing <laughs> yeah i think bards dope it, it, it was i'm a bardist you know he's I like bad, the bard. He, He's a fountain of bad ones advice. commenting on Reddit. <laughs> I think I think everybody says bards are trash because they're not run up and smash it. They're not cast spells at it. They're they're not damage dealers. They're support. Mm-hmm. And yeah. those are anything these. we've learned about us as a civilization is humans hate supporting other humans. 
or doing the barest minimum that might inconvenience in them to help here's, somebody. Here's your bard, right? If you need time to think, play a bard. Because on the first round, you're doing bardic music. And that buffs everybody in the party. Everybody loves when you play bardic music. Then you've got a whole turn to figure out what to do next. That's why I love bard. Mm. <laughs> I, can shoot I, just, I would like I playing one, honestly, because that's kind of my... I like that play style. I do that with wizards. Um, after the mo- most recent one shot that we we recorded, I think Sonder should, once she dies, you should play a bard that sings. Once you she were dies. so great at singing <laughs> all of your actions, and no. should continue on that practice I have playing a with a bard who has a negative one to perform sing. I had a blast <laughs> playing that character. I know I, you did. <laughs> I don't know. I had fun. And that's I, had I don't fun. blame you. You had a great time, obviously. I had fun. I um I have gone through your audio on that already. And uh I did not do it first to get it out of the way. That's not why. <laughs> 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 But the singing was fun. But would I have to listen to that same song eight times to get everybody else's giggles out from behind it so that the people can enjoy it in its purest form? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and here's a taste. Bip. And I'm a pretty good singer. Check it out. Do, 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 do. Isn't that the most beautiful song you ever heard? No, I'll hear that later. <laughs> just, a little, just a little taste for you, kids. Mm. But I, like, when right I, if I had known anything more about Pathfinder when I made this character, Sonder would have been a paladin instead of an oracle. But what are you gonna do? Like, I wanted her, I wanted her to be able to run up and hit stuff, and with a 13 AC, she's not doing that. It's just <laughs> no. not happening. No. And that's unfortunate. So well, he lived. We did. I mean, I'm, I've done that. I've played a character for a while, and I'm like, ah, you know what? I really, I like this character, but I really should have done it this way or that way. And you, there's so much to learn with Pathfinder. But yeah, you just I just make didn't it, know, you know what I was doing. another opportunity. You could just retrain. <laughs> but I, mean, I thought that. about that. I, I definitely thought about that, and we talked about it. But there's no time. Well, now it's your. Now, it's really, it, it comes down to downtime because you've got the cash to retrain and you could yeah. make Sonder into a paladin if you so chose. Indeed. But as it stands now, we're in the middle of a, of a, of a thing. An adventure. Yeah. There's no downtime. <laughs> yeah, There's I, no downtime. You'll probably get some downtime in like 20 or 30 more sessions, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just just 20 or 30 more weeks of, of what we're doing, and I think mm. I think we'll be into some downtime. We'll see you in 2022. <laughs> Maybe. 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 <laughs> it all depends if somebody else decides to blow up a boat. You blow up one boat? Jeez. <laughs> mm-hmm. For a minute, I was like, what the hell? By 2023, we'll have some downtime if you're still alive. You know what'll help us get to that downtime faster? Getting back to the map and getting on with this wild hunt. To the map. What are we playing? Oh, Pathfinder. We're playing Pathfinder. We're playing Pathfinder tonight. Yep. Wild hunt. We're like mild hunt. We're we're fucking killing it. (laughs) You killed three sayers. Come on. It's a it's a bold move. Dorian is not spokesperson for this group. I'm trying to get him to move all the counters to one area so we can just kill them all at once. Or That's not we just happen. die. I mean, if we're going to die, we might as well die early, right? Why waste yeah. all that time? <laughs> blaze of glory. That's what I say. And the blaze of blaze. <laughs> I'm going. All right. Well, one thing that Razbat has decided since half the group is blind, we can't run without at least fairy fire. Or not fairy fire, but uh, dancing lights up and running. That's fine. I mean, it was, it was just an experiment. Yeah, I, I, I feel he feels uh, it was a worthy experiment, but it failed horribly. Let's group back up and uh, continue on. Which way was it, Dorian? 
Uh, I guess we'll head back toward those t- ruins because down that way, there's a huge pit trap. Yeah, so after your fight with the Sayer, you're still in this strange forest. Uh, you're met with a three-way uh, decision here. Giggity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three-way forest <laughs> trap. Mm. Um, you're assuming South would lead back towards that pit trap, which, look, who knows? There could be thousands of gold at the bottom of that pit trap. I, I don't want to let anything, I don't want to spoil anything, but I feel like there's like a, a high-level, valuable sword. I run back to the pit trap. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Christ, every time. He falls for this every time. <laughs> you take 48 damage. Falls for it. That's why we call him noob. What's the item? <laughs> Stupidity. Oh. It's, it's a dunce a lot. for you. The item is damage. It's a, it's a uh, item of pit trap detection. It'll let you know that there's a pit trap there after you fall into it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> called, it's called your skull. <laughs> but oh, uh, so there's uh, there's an option to go north, and there's still the ruins that you can see something glowing uh, out there to the east. Well, let's investigate the ruins that we were planning on doing first, and then we'll continue further, uh-huh. if that's all right. That's fine with me. You have made nothing but good choices so far. Uh, Except for the choice to go save that child in the bottom of the pit trap. I feel oh, I that was, was sarcasm. I was being, yes, I was being quite facetious. Uh, no, no, I understand how my countrymen work. Uh, that was purely insulting. <laughs> polite. Polite insulting. Oh, you know. Until until the punches start being thrown. Anyway, we can move ahead. I know there's a lot of computer people out there, but I just realized I can hold control when I click y'all and move y'all all at once. Um, Wait, what? Oh, that's handy. There you go. I'll just make my turns faster. I've, oh, yeah, it will not make your turns faster. <laughs> I'm gonna it's only go once light. around, right? <laughs> Yeah, at least all your summons aren't on different initiatives. I haven't even summoned anything yet. <laughs> I know. Just these you dancing me? lights. Toker, I'm going to cast a light in between my, my jackal ears there. Okay. So I can still see. So that's a homebrew thing? We let you do that? It's fine. That's cool. My doggo hat will light the way. These ruins ahead of you seem ungodly ancient. Uh, there's barely walls still standing, but in the center, there's a strange, uh, bright cylinder dancing with, with tiny white lights. Is it magical? Uh, um, I'm assuming you detect magic. So yes, Mm -hmm. it is definitely magical. Can I do a spellcraft on it? You can. All right, cool. All right. Let's see. Yep, that's a six. <sighs> it's some type of dice. evocation, you know. It's uh, that gives me a twenty-two. Oh, okay. Um, it's it is some type of um, evocation, uh, but it seems to be dampened by whatever the cylinder is that's holding it in place. While he's uh, trying to. To discern that, I want to r- I- do a quick run through the detect uh, alignment. See if I if there's any emanations of any emanations. good, evil, chaos, or law. Okay. Uh, you do not detect any alignments. Okay. Can I? Um- <clears throat> I'll point out to Dorian to uh, I'll tell everybody what I detect, you know, I saw as far as the evocation spell and that I felt like it's dampened and then I'll kind of look at Dorian and just let him know that there it seems like you know that could be if something removes that dampening, if there's a some kind of mechanism that removes that dampening, there could you know that it could cause a lot of problems. So there might be a trap or something around. I don't know. I can't yeah, find stuff like that. I know, I know. I'm getting to it. I will move up to it, uh attempting to search for traps. All right, give me a perception check. Good job. Oof, that sucked. Uh, <laughs> 20. It does not appear to be trapped. Now that you're close to it, 
the this globe is it's a globe and it's definitely hovering over a small um what first looked to be metal is now you can see is iron wood uh it's a stump of iron wood but it's perfectly smoothed and sanded and this orb is just kind of floating above it and this power is circulating on the inside of it uh is my inner senses telling me that this is the kind of thing i'm looking for or it is not uh, let's see um so the orb is hovering above a piece of wood a stump of iron wood like the iron uh, oh, wood okay. was I got you. Um, um, while hmm. Dorian is checking this out, Vladros is going to use his renewed vigor to heal himself. Um, okay. It's not much, but I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there that he's doing that. Okay. Great. I will first address the thing. You never know what's 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 uh, got a brain around here. Hello. I like that and wish I'd thought of it, but no, nothing happens. Okay. All right, then. Um, then I will... I don't want to touch it. Let's ignore it. It's lighting up the area. Is it? What is it? What is it? Wait, can I have any as to what its function is like it's it's literally it's it's their iron wood it's a looks like a glass globe and it's hovering above the iron wood and it, it seems like the power that he detected with his tech magic is inside the globe oh. okay. well uh i'm gonna get a sack out i guess out of my bag okay and attempt to put the sack over the orb and pull it away from the, the stump You cover the you cover the orb up and it moves freely from the stump. You can even feel like as you're pulling it away that it still feels like it's kind of hovering in the bag, like okay. there's some type of aura that's keeping it the bag from touching the globe itself. Like it's got a little give to it if you poke at the bag at it, not the orb, but just some kind of force that's causing it to to hover like that. But as you do that, I need everybody to roll perception checks. All right. I got a bonus to this now. Because of question. my weird eyes. Has it 16. I'm sorry. I was excited. Uh, quick question. Has it been uh, six times six, 36 seconds since our last fight? Yeah. It's yeah. been a whole week. No, since our Seder fight. Oh. Uh, it's only been a few minutes since then. Few minutes, okay. Well, I'm not fatigued anymore. All right, I got a 20, 33, 21. I got a 30, 29, a 31. If it's it, based on vision, I got 22. 30. Uh, who got over a 30? Just Kevin, I did, and Dorian. So you're the only two that see. Damn it. These tiny little creatures come out and they don't seem hostile, but as soon as the light from that orb goes away, they come out and they cautiously begin approaching Dorian. Sir, mm -hmm. sir, please, mm -hmm. sir. Easy. Don't uh. get any closer. <laughs> I pull out my wand, have it at the ready. Okay. I speak I to, will, I speak I will, to them. Go ahead. <laughs> I will slowly, non-aggressively step in since I see them. Okay. And then uh, go ahead. Go I, say, I say in Sylvan, yes, what do you want? We're trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. No! <laughs> <laughs> this expires, you know. I mean, we're also here about your final expenses. That's the one I get all the time. 
God. Yeah. Grim. Yeah. You know you when might die soon. You should lose all your money to this scam. <laughs> oh, when they call me, my favorite thing is to say, do I get the money if I kill myself? And then the <laughs> guy was like, sir, please do not kill yourself. And I felt so bad, I just hung up. <laughs> there was general concern in his voice when I said that. I was like, oh. Yeah. You just made foreigners think Americans are dumber than ever. I got less calls from them after I did that, though, so. Yeah, I wish I could say that. They call me a lot. I've gotten to the point now that when they call, uh, it's always like, hey, my name's John. Uh, I'm calling about final your final expenses, you know, health benefits, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I always go say, you know, what's your last name? And they normally just read whatever list of names they have in front of them to use. And it's another generic white dude first name. So it'll be like Steve. <laughs> hey, I'm John Steve. And I'm just like, oh, John Steve, you've got two first names. It's delightful. I've been expecting your phone call. I got the paper clips in the mail. But the thing about it is, is that if you don't give me your address, I can't mail you the paper clips. And I just talk gibberish until they hang up on me. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes me so happy. That's so much fun. But uh, yeah, what do these things want? <laughs> what things? The things oh, the in gremlins. the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sorry. creatures. <laughs> Give me one second. This is uh, a thing that I'm reading. I'm reading a thing. Slavic Slavic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's the soul of our mother. And they're all saying this in unison. It's the soul of our mother. You've covered the soul of our mother. Please, we will trade to get her back. What will you give me? They take a, another step closer. Uh -uh. Yeah, and I <laughs> stepped in as well. One of them reaching into his pockets and he pulls out this bright blue glowing vial. Our mother for for power over the darkness. Um. Well, since I don't know what the hell this thing does, certainly that sounds like a fair trade. Be warned, however, if this is cursed or otherwise some kind of shenanigan, my angry, very tough companions over there with the swords will hack you up into little bits. Am I close enough to hear any of this? Oh yeah, I'm talking yeah. quite loud. Then can I roll sense motive? Totally. On them. Mm. That is a 25, I believe. Yeah, 25. To see what their deal is. It's difficult to say, even with that check, but you're just close enough because they also rolled a 25 to tell mm. that they are keeping something secret. And because of your divine touch, you can tell there's tiny traces of magic laced into their words as they talk. I let Doria know that I don't trust them. Oh, well, Less than I trust you. Mm, so that's not oh. very much at all. I say in common to the creatures... I'm afraid uh, my friends are going to kill you because you are obviously trying to scam us in some way. Scammers. <laughs> Give me a perception check, Dorian. Right. Um, 28. You do see that the one standing to the uh, east of the one right below you while the one right below you was holding out the vial, it was covering up the other one drawing a tiny knife, and he was about to shank you with it. Let us roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Oh, very, very well. I warned them. We could have made this. Could have made this fair. Damn it! Uh, just remembered something I wanted to do in between combats. Um, but Sonder, just remind me. Speed sheath. Speed sheath. Word. Yes. I will have brought it up and I was like, oh, nope, there are things happening. Uh, tell me later. Uh, Dorian. Uh, 20. Sonder. 17. Razbad. 15. Amon. 
23. All right. Nib. 15. Oh. Oh, we, all, we, all, we all decided to lie tonight. All right. <laughs> what? <heck? laughs> I rolled 12. I'm not lying. 12. <laughs> I rolled an 11. <laughs> We're all I'm just average. Listen. All right. To show you that I'm not a liar, my initiative is six. Boom. <laughs> Suck it. Anything that happens tonight is because the dice made it happen, not because I lied again. I mean, because I <laughs> <laughs> lied for the first time, which I've never done. Which never I've done. I've never done. I've never lied. Uh, so let's kick it off with uh, Amon. Amon would like to move here. Okay. And then I am going to the one directly in front of me. What's he holding? He's holding the vial. Yeah. Cool. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to attempt to trip his little ass. Okay. Because I don't like him. And by little, they are definitely small. I got a 13 plus 8 for a 21 against CMD. Actually, these things are tiny. Dang. Oh. Um, what do they look like? The pockets of this urchin are stuffed with worthless objects. <laughs> <laughs> That's the description from Pathfinder. <laughs> from the distance, they look like the Volgons from Hitchhiker's Guide, the movie. Uh, maybe that. You know how I picture them as um, um, the Tiny. gate. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm the little, the little clay, the little claymation monsters. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That movie scared the a, shit out of me when I was a kid. Th- does a twenty-one beat at CMD? It definitely does. He is prone. Oh no. Get down, bitch. That's my turn. <clears throat> Dorian. Uh, I will wheel around and slash the one with brandishing a knife. Okay. Let's see. Hacha! With an attack roll for. Oh, shit, where's my character sheet? There. <laughs> there. Uh, so that's a 19 to hit. Uh, that will hit. I'm good. Uh, do I get sneak attack? Uh, no. Okay. Well it's then. Not flat-footed. Hey, ready? Because it it acted. It yeah, they, they were all in, it was they were in the midst of attacking. Uh, a little slow burn attack. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, I do eight damage. Hey, is your weapon? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, has that's been right. from the, Has been from the beginning. Since the uh, the dwarven forge, right? No, it's always been cold. Oh, iron. that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, and it fits your backstory. It all makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> it all coming together. Sonder. All right. So I rolled a twenty six to pass the check. Ooh, and I just rolled. So there's five additional Saunders. Nice. Oh, wait. And How I, long does that spell last? It lasts three. It lasts a minute per caster level, I believe. And it's a wand, so it's caster level three. So three minutes. So just yeah, probably, yeah, probably been longer than three minutes yeah. since the last time you used it. Yeah, that's what I figured. That was, that was, and then I shall put away the wand so that I can continue using my crossbow. Like I just had my crossbow in one hand and the wand in the other. Perfect. And now I put the wand away. Cool, cool. Uh, who has the higher initiative modifier? Is that Nim or Razbad? Razbad. Okay. Razbad. Plus, plus four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move to there. <clears throat> Because the first one's prone, correct? Yeah, it can still it still provokes. Yeah, that's fine. I understand. You're moving to here. Now, uh, scratch that. I'll back me up one. Okay. I'll just move to that one square. So and you're only going to provoke uh, once. Yes. Okay. 
or nope, wait, that was the one that was holding the vial. It is not holding its weapon, so never mind. It doesn't provoke. Very well. Uh, and then I will try and hit this. Uh, or first off, what is this? Knowledge, nature. Knowledge, nature. Correct? Yes, sir. Uh, roll the net 20. This is a fucking that gremlin. Is 27. These are gremlins. These are Aranat gremlins. Um, these are uh, more of the chaotic evil sort of gremlin. Uh, because they love nothing more than starting fights. Assholes. They are insane and pointless, and this was obviously all a scam to fuck some people over. So who knows <laughs> what that thing in the bag is that you have, if they were using it to lure people in. Um, outside of that, you know, in large numbers, they get special abilities. Um, some of them they've tried already and failed at. Um, maybe that the... Uh, Oh, there's an aura thing that I forgot about here. Um, they have a, a weird aura um, that makes them better at causing people to fail compulsion effects. Mm. Um, and they have a tiny bit of SR and damage reduction like most Fey. But outside of that, they're just they're annoying ass evil little gremlins. And I'll share the knowledge with the group. Uh, call down for a uh, judgment of healing upon me from Desna and try and smack this little guy. Roll a six. So does a 12 hit. You're attacking the one that's prone? Yes. Actually so that would be a 16 with my plus four. Then you do hit. All right. Uh, I did not activate Bane, so seven damage. And not cold iron, correct? Correct. All right. Nim. All right. I uh, start summoning, and uh, Ficey's going to cast Cure Light on me. Got four back. Okay. That's my turn. Dorian. Uh, the one I attacked, it, um, is it still up? The one that's prone now? Yeah. Wait, it's his turn again? Or what? <coughs> We're going 20. I, I go on 23 it. or 21, sorry. <laughs> Did I skip you that I'm on? You also I think skipped, you skipped Vlad the monsters. Wait. Yeah, oh, Vlad, be... Vlad goes. He was the light 12. He's the only one that hadn't gone out of the group yet, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Vlad, yeah. <laughs> Fine, I thought that was coming. Sorry, your names are right next to each other, and I just I, I crossed the lines. Uh, Vlad is going to move to there, because uh, apparently we're killing things. Hmm. It's a damn shame that there isn't some sort of cold iron katana that we have that Vlad could use to murder things in this realm better. <laughs> we sold that <laughs> shit. I don't think we ever did. We did. Nim would oh. know. <laughs> he would, but he would know. Yeah, he would, he would know. Uh, does a 20 hit? It does. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. That is 15 damage. Not cold iron. Not cold iron. Else, there you go. Hooray! I say. Ah! They all say it once. Ah! I say back. I'm about to get mobbed, aren't I? <laughs> all right. Two on Razbad. Uh, the little knives that you see they pull out are actually connected to chains, which is why they can attack without having to be in your space. They have little tiny reach weapons so that they can hit five feet away, even though they're tiny. <laughs> 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 even in the rules that they are proficient at doing that, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, does it mean that I remember what their two hit is? Let's go. Let's turn that power attack on. 
Let's do that. All right. Let's don't. Let's just First don't. one on you there. Razbad is a 23. Yes, that hits. All right. Uh, nine damage. And then the second okay. one. Second one misses. Then you got uh, two on Dorian. One of them is flanking, so we'll do the flanking one first with a, a 19 to hit. I'm a fifth level rogue, just letting you know. <laughs> Does a 19 hit? I w- no, it would not. Okay. And the second one will attack. Uh, this time with a 21. That. Yep. Okay. Uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. Jesus effing Christ. What kind of weapon does it have? It's basically a spike chain. Does it cold iron? No. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) It is definitely not cold iron. Um, and then the last one on Vladros. Almost a crit. Uh, Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think that might actually be a crit. Is it a crit for these guys? No. But I'm assuming a 27 will hit. Absolutely. And nine damage. Heard. Don't forget your DR, Vlad. I am not. Thank you. And then Amon, it is your go. Yeah, boy. Uh, Amon is going to... Uh, diagonally step five feet up next to Vladros and then I'm going to attempt to trip the one that's to the north of Dorian (laughs) knocking all these bitches over (laughs) I rolled a 19 plus you got it yeah Yeah. he's also on the ground you big loser these tiny things have a CMD of uh, 14 no well Good. That's your go? That is my go. I am knocking him down. Okay. You be too impressed with yourself is what Toker's saying. I feel uh, impressed. I roll at 19. No, it's, it's it's easy to do and it makes makes them... Uh, he's debuffing. I like it. Uh, Dorian. That's what I built him to do. Uh, it's like your whip is useful for something. All right. Um, one of the guys flanking me, I am going to try a, f- a feint maneuver and then an attack. Well, the one to the south is prone and the one to the north is prone, so. And I'm flanking with you, so you don't need a feint. Oh, well then, I, yeah, I'll just, I'll attack that guy then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got a 25 to hit. That'll do it. And this mother takes. 10, 15, 23 points of damage. Your blade is so big it splits the creature in half, killing it. Gross. <laughs> Ugh, gremlin blood. <laughs> uh, any movement? Um, I will take a five foot step to the, like, on the other side of the stump. You, you, you follow me? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Perfect. Sonder. All six of the Saunders move up to like 15 feet. If I can stand in that square. Yeah. All right. And I shall cast weapons against evil on every weapon except for Dorian's because he doesn't need it. Mm. So both of mine and three, four, five. Yeah. Um, if anybody is, who's got two weapons? If you're going to use them both. I got two, but I mean, I can take it if, you know, things go south. So no one has two weapons. You're okay. good. So on all of the weapons, weapons against evil, I have up to seven. Nice. That I can cast. So that means we all basically have cold iron now. Yay! Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sonder. 
it's shake and bake and I help. Mm, every hit is an extra five damage because of her. The rest of y'all are terrible. Uh, Razbad. <laughs> Razbad will... Um, take a five foot step diagonally to be flanking with Dorian and try and smack this gremlin. Go away, gremlin! And, um, does a 10 hit? <laughs> no. All right, I missed. Oh, excuse me. Does a 12 hit? I am flanking. No. Okay. Then I does miss. A- there's a 14 hit. I, I I found a plus two in my pocket. <laughs> Still no. And at this I point, rolled a three. Okay. I deserve to miss. It's okay. Thanks for helping. <laughs> All right, Nam. What am I doing? All right. So uh, summon a lantern archon here. And it attacks the closest one, which would be... I'm. Just, uh, I think it's a wash between, I don't know, these two, this one. Um, I'm going to hit that one. I'm going to need you to to slow down. Okay. Because I don't know which one of these hearts is your lantern archon. Yeah, the lantern archon. Okay. Lantern archon. All right. And it's going to attack that. Gotcha. All right. And That's, that attack. one is prone, so if you're doing a ranged attack, just uh It's a ranged touch. It's against his touch AC. It's against touch, but he'll still get a plus four to his AC from ranged. Um. Yeah. All right. So I got um. I got a twenty-two and a nineteen. So twenty-two and nineteen. Those both hit. All right, cool. His touch so, AC uh, with the plus four is 19. Whew. All right, so one does six damage bypassing DR, and the other does two. So a total of eight damage, no DR. And that's one that has not been hit yet. And it was eight damage total? Eight total, no DR. Got it. All right, and then I'm going to move. God dang it. I keep trying to move him. I'm going to move here. Spoiled by Owlbear. Shit. Oh. Yeah, it's nice on there. We can move. I like this jungle. Yeah, Owlbear's jungle. neat because everybody can move their own tokens. And it, like, there's a way to set it up so everybody can move their own tokens on here, but it's. Uh, it's a little um little hard on the old internets for everybody. Oh yeah. yeah. Because then basically I have to give all of y'all control over the screen and I become a host. I don't know. We'll we'll give it a try one of these days yeah. and see. So um and then everybody gets haste. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh boy. I got Very excited nice. like I was Hello. used to everybody. So Gremlins too? All my people. The new batch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep watching that the other Do night. I get to be doofy, uh, Gremlin? Yes. Awesome. No My hesitation. Mm-hmm. Dibs on transvestite Gremlin. <laughs> what was that? Uh, was that a uh, key and peel? They talked about the guys doing a bunch of cocaine and coming up with the new Gremlins movie. <laughs> and <Yeah>. everyone. <laughs> No, I've never seen that. I have not seen that either. Vlad. Uh, Vladros is going to take a five-foot step forward in so that he can hit the two. He's going to rage as he does so. And he is going to take a full attack. Okay. And this is... Uh, let's go. And you, get a, you get an extra one at full base. Yes, all three attacks. So first attack on the guy to the north. Threatens a crit. Okay. Uh, confirming crit. Definitely confirm that crit with all a right. 33. 
Uh, right. Second and attack. You're, bypass, you're bypassing DR. I am bypassing DR. Describe the kill. Oh. So with uh, one swift swipe, he cuts right in half the little guy. Cool. Feeling like he's doing a little bit of overkill, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Second attack. Does not threaten a crit, but a 27. That'll still hit. And then third attack. You know what? I'm going to wait and see. Well, I mean, there's much. only one guy left you can hit because you killed okay. one. I'll do another attack on him, but I don't think a 12 is going to hit. Uh, and his prone AC will still hit because he's oh, prone. Shit. Okay, so that's yeah, buddy. 17 damage for the first attack and then 19 damage for the second attack. And you cleave another gremlin in half. Ah, I hate gremlins. Sure, you want us all to be fighters. <laughs> <laughs> well, the combats go a little faster. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying, with like, uh, sure. well, I mean, fucking greater cleave on about three characters, and you clear a room. <laughs> well, between between yeah. haste and the ignoring the dr, like, yeah, ignoring the dr is big. So weapons, the weapons of all is is you know. They don't have a lot of hit points, but they're normally durable. But when you're attacking three times and they don't get any DR, they go down pretty quick. However, there are two, three of them left, uh, and none of these three are prone. <laughs> yeah, There's two left. Are there? Yeah, not? I was gonna say, where's the third one at? He's underneath this. Oh. Who's hiding? Uh, That's technically gone because Dorian put it in his uh pad. Put it in his sack. <clears throat> so like triple, um, triple flanked. Yeah, because this guy's actually going to be in the same square as him since they're tiny and can share a square, so they all get flanking. Ooh. F you, Dorian. Let's do this. Yeah. I can't flank him. He's a Wait. rogue. Yeah, he's a rogue. <laughs> you picked the one guy you couldn't flank. Eh. Well, one of two. Is, if, or you no, roll, if you roll a 19, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so one hit for sure. All right. Macy's um, 20. 17 misses then. And the last attack will be also a miss. So only one gets through. All righty. Uh, but for max damage of 10. All righty. Five damage. Yep. Five damage. <laughs> you were just bragging about the... DR of these creatures, which was five cold iron. Same as Dorian. Yeah, Yeah, it's dope. Uh, Until you lose it. Amon. (laughs) Amon is going to try to trip the two creatures in front of him. Both of them. (laughs) I don't think I get the first one with a 10. No. Can you roll roll that low on that maneuver? I rolled a two. (laughs) The lowest I can roll is only eight. Two. Yeah. Only eight? That's pretty dang good, sir. Oh. I mean, if you say so. I rolled a second, too, so nothing happens. <laughs> I will five foot step down diagonally, though. I mean, we're eighth level. I don't understand. Yeah. It seems like your to trip is fairly low. Wait, you're eighth level? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Well, oh. We're, <laughs> even at seventh level, you know. Um, well, my base attack bonus is plus five, and then I don't get strength, I get dex, and that's a plus three, so that gives me eight. I'm going to say Nim, with, I mean, Nim's CMB is a plus eight. So is mine, but that's just because of haste, I think. Yeah, but I it just assumed be. one of your feats or something with all the whip stuff would have given you nope. plus ones or something to... You would think. Nope. I figured you were at least yeah. a plus ten. I wish Wait, I was. Improved trip should have given you a plus two. Did it I just take makes it where trip? you can't get a tax opportunity? Oh, you didn't take improved trip. Okay. No, I don't have. I haven't had a feat to spend yet. That wasn't just getting the whips to work. <laughs> gotcha. Well, improved trip would be. I think it. It actually might be a plus four. No. But we it's been a while that since later, I looked yeah. at it. It's fine. Dorian, why don't you trip one of them? Show him how it's done. It's your turn. All right, I will trip the the one in front of me on my dagger or on my sword sword. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, getting a 21 to hit. Oh, that'll hit. Uh, then he takes 18 damage. Okay. Is he still up? Yeah. Okay, then I'll attack again, thanks to haste. Yep. Still uh, on your flanking, right? Yep. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's see, that's a set, uh, 18 to hit. Describe your kill, because your first hit put him to one hit point. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I skewer him to the chest and toss him over my over my, uh, over my my shoulder t- toward his uh, companions. <laughs> they, they scream in terror. Blank uh, that. Thunder. I uh, take aim with my crossbow. Uh, 19 to hit the one closest to me. That one will hit. Lovely. Mm, there's a d8. Four. Seven on the die. So. Eight damage. Okay. That one's still stand. That was the first time that one's been hit, so it's still standing. But still a pretty brutal stab because it's going right through the old DR. Razbad. All right, using my 40 feet of movement, I can make it all the way around to there without uh, provoking an attack of opportunity. Not for me, and then, I trip him. <laughs> and then I will take a swipe at the flanked opponent. Does a 17 hit? Uh, it does. Are you hit the one she already shot? Yes. Okay. The one with the crossbow bolt sticking out of it takes uh, eight points of damage, ignoring DR. Okay. How about you did eight, two, right? Or you did nine, Sandra? Eight. Eight. Just hammering that crossbow did, bolt deeper. We did 16, so it has one hit point left. Not quite. <laughs> well, not quite. Close. Or, yes. or three, three hit three points. Just three hit points left. Nim. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so my Archon's going to attack the one they were attacking one time. For eight is eighteen hit eighteen hits right the eighteen touch. hits the touch for sure yeah yeah that's uh, for two damage <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two ignoring dr ignoring dr he still has one hit point left he still got one all right I'm gonna hit with the I hit with the other one does a thirteen hit his range touch uh, it does not oh no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna waste any. I'm not gonna use any more spells or anything. So okay, acid I'm splash. <laughs> I don't have that. Vlad. Uh, Vladros is going to take a five foot step up and attempt to make chop mince meat out of these two. First attack on the guy who has been hit by the arrow, the Archon, and the Orc. Um, 11 on the die, plus 15, so 26. Yeah, that'll hit. He's dead. Yeah, I was going to say, I do my minimum damage would murder him. Yeah, breathe heavy on that one. He had one <laughs> hit point left. Second attack on the next guy in his same square. That's right does not uh it's a 27 that'll hit so that's 16. uh jesus 24 damage he is also dead <laughs> <laughs> and then my <laughs> final attack will be just to make just chopping motions until he becomes nothing the end of another combat the ground is littered in blood what weird thing does dorian have in his bag and which direction will our adventures take Next week, probably Next week. east. Ah, but, but before uh, we go any further, Sonder, I have something that might make your your action economy easier. And then Lydros pulls off a speed sheath 
off of his wrist and hands it to her so that she can put her wand in a speed sheath, which is a swift action to draw it instead of a move action. Oh, thank you. This this might make your your uh, your loading of the crossbow easier. If you're going to be using that spell that I see you use. Yes. So to make the wand easier, faster, or the crossbow? Use a swift to pull the wand, you can still load your crossbow, oh, and then okay. you can cast a spell or shoot. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yep. Excellent. Thank and you. And I believe you can sheath it as a swift action as well. I could be yeah, wrong I think on so. that. Speed sheets are pretty dope. Yeah. It's like a wrist sheath that you just boop, pop it out, use it, pop it back in. Very yeah, cool. but you only get one swift per turn, per round mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. So it's, but, but, but still. You can still. You can shoot a crossbow one-handed, right? And we normally mm-hmm. overlook this. If you use a reaction, you lose your swift action. But oh. Yeah, I know that. Oh. Reactions yeah, you, are yeah. just like... What, it's attack? like attacks it's of immediate, opportunity. Immediate. No, 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 it's like react. an attack of opportunity, but you lose your swift action on your turn for using it. Uh, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any immediate, any attacks immediate. of opportunity are not immediates. They are. They're reactions. Yeah, they are. They're reactions. Yeah. But I, would, I just don't end up in the situation where I take attacks of opportunity. Mm-hmm. For Sonder, as you have multiple, yes, what if you have you're multiple safe attacks of opportunity. For that, I or Dorian would mm-hmm. hesitate, or Vlad even would hesitate from swift action a lot of times because you use them a lot. Or attacks of opportunity. I didn't know that. I know it took up your immediate, but I didn't know it took. I, I, that's why I'm wondering with the, you know, when you have characters that have multiple attacks of opportunity. I have. I always oh, thought it just took up. You, you either have an immediate. You can use your immediate as a swift, or your. I mean, it basically takes up your swift, or vice versa. I might be thinking of a spell that if you do that, you can't take a. Uh, yeah, I yeah. don't think it's a. I don't think it's attacks of opportunity because I, I think. Specifically, if you use I think a swift it's immediate action, action you spells, don't. Yeah. If you use an immediate action, yeah. you don't get a swift action on your turn. That that's round. what it is. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. So if you so, take an immediate, but a attack of opportunity is not an immediate action, even though it functions like that, sort of. Mm-hmm. Mm. So putting the item away is a full round action. Oh. But I could just like I mean if I put it back into the speed sheath, but I could just put it away like in a pocket or something, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then just as later a, as a move, yeah, and then yeah. Load your, reload your spring, the just spring it, or whatever later. Tuck it into your hair like an art art teacher does. <laughs> Behind your ear, yeah, just tuck I it. Stick it in the brush. Yeah, back. you have braid. You already right said that. So just drop it. You, you can easily just... stab a wand into a braid. <laughs> if you, you wanted to move. move. If you wanted to move, you could just drop it as you moved because your spell's going to last the majority yes. of the combat. Just pick it up at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave yeah. that, that yeah, wand. I'm not going to drop it. Though. Drop it around a bunch of... <laughs> drop it in a wood, woods full of gremlins. Nah. If, uh, drop a wooden wand in the woods. Good luck. It detects magic. I kinda, uh, yeah, fair enough. I got a enough. good mental image. If you say you just tuck it in the bra strap. Right? I mean, I was talking about like up here. Oh. Because there was, there's, 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 there's uh, backwoods gas stations that like put up the signs will not accept sweaty titty money. You know, where girls <laughs> come in, in the summertime and just pull out mm-hmm. wads of of bra money and it's and it's wet. I just uh, imagine they don't a know wand, how to do it right. A, a wand charging store that was like will not recharge wands that are covered in and dense titty sweat. <laughs> sweaty titty wand. Yeah, I've seen the the sweaty bra money or sweaty sock money. They will not take. Blech. Yeah, I worked at a service station for a couple of years uh, part time, and I, you know, there were like late. I, I was fine with taking top titty dollars. The <laughs> bottom titty dollars were a different story because they were damp. Dollars. So, but top titty dollars were okay because they were up here. Like it's not, you know, it's not in a you sweat can, pocket. All I can say, is some of us larger chested women end up double brawing. So there's a way to like you put the money in between the two bras. It's not sweaty, but it's still up there. <laughs> And there's, yeah, there's lots of other, like sometimes you put it between the bra and the shirt if you got big enough chest where it's not going to fall down. What there's about wearing like an anti-perspirant? Like an ant, like a like a 
clean. Uh, nah. You have a just, speed stick, the underside of your titties. You, no, you got a speed. You talking about speed stick mm-hmm. and the dot, the money? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, was I don't know. Used to come in. I don't know she, that she didn't wear a bra. Like she would come in and and pull money out of her shirt, and, and it was very obvious she was not wearing a bra. I I, I couldn't. She just practiced it. Pin- pinching money between her tit and her rib cage. I don't know no, where no, it came she from. had the knee cups. Oh, so there was a uh, lot of flappage happening. She didn't Flash. care. She just wanted her snuff and she didn't care. I mean, if you, if we made our money to be hydrophobic, this wouldn't even be an issue. You, wait, yeah. wait, you, want, you want the money to have rabies? What? All I can say is like double broad money is no grosser than pocket money because your oh, pocket yeah. is thin uh, and right next to your sweaty die sometimes you get if you work at a station in the summer you get um you get you get dollars out of dudes wallets that are damp their ass has been sweating that much mm-hmm. yep mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. not trying to this is one up but uh my dad's a deer hunter and has been known to give out bloody money at gas stations because <laughs> he just doesn't even realize that he's he just drug a deer out of the woods <laughs> and he's paying for that coca-cola and crackers with blood, deer blood money, but they don't know what he killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could have been anything with blood in it. Now it's on their dollar bills. Think um, about that. Bills, Ooh, yeah. you, don't tell a, you, you don't tell a guy who just handed you bloody money, I'm going to take his money. Sir, yeah. this money is bloody. Please go away. Please, I mean, if uh, you're behind the bulletproof gra- glass, you might uh, be able to say that. That's though. true. But, I mean, I don't know. If it's damp with blood, you know. If it's just damp. There's bullet. so many questions. <laughs> bullet resistant glass. Never forget that part. Resistant. Yeah. Glass. Resistant. Well, I, oh, I, I didn't to mean bring to bring up that point. Didn't didn't mean to ruin your your show ender with a with a, a banter session, but you didn't <laughs> ruin it. I wanted to close ruin it on it. blood money. I like that that, that moment. Oh, it. sorry. Well, you kept blood going. Money. Go ahead. Blood <laughs> money. <laughs> Don't forget to check the the links below. We have multiple shows available now. We've got cartoons on the way. We've got a Patreon. Uh, We appreciate any support. We accept blood money. We do. Yeah, as long as it can't be traced, we don't ask any questions. That shit's all digital, bitch. All right, see you next week. Sweaty tea, buddy. Good night. That's your bottom $50.